we should be okay hey guys Whew, okay here we go now um i'm trying to make sure that you guys can hear me so kind of let me know bear with me it's been a long morning obviously i'm at work so we are um just been a little bit a little bit of stuff going on as of right now Hmm. Okay. Today, um, I am going to talk to you guys about the stimulus check and taxes and some filing because I have gotten a lot of questions um, about taxes, about really about the stimulus check. I have gotten a lot of questions lately about the stimulus check and when it comes to filing with your last paycheck stub. Okay. I posted today about the filing with your last paycheck stub but i'm going to um you guys might see me look back and forth i'm on instagram and live on facebook right now so is the reason why it um is i'm looking back and forth so as of right now guys on um oh sorry guys i don't know what's going on but let's get into this stimulus check Okay, most of you all have already started to receive your stimulus checks. For those that have not received stimulus checks, when you check the IRS website, it says payment number two. When it says payment number two, um, and it says the status is not available, then that means that you may not be getting your stimulus check. Um, normally, it doesn't mean that because of... So many people were checking the website on Monday and on Tuesday. It, it was crashing um, and a lot of stuff wasn't being, you weren't able to look anything up. But as of now, what I recently read that is on the IRS website. Um, if you have, if it says status not available, it ultimately looks like you will not be getting your stimulus check. Um, you will, when you file your 2020 taxes, you will then have to claim on there for the recovery rebate. There's a, there's a question on there for those that go to someone to do their taxes um, that your tax person will know for those that do their taxes by themselves. Um, I'm not sure what software you use. So I'm not sure what's on there. I can only speak for what we go through and what I do so I can tell you about what we have. So um, on there, there are, there are questions that ask about the stimulus check, about the first stimulus check, and about the second stimulus check. Okay, the second check went off of your 2019 taxes. The stand, the amounts for your 2019 taxes changed. So if you were single and you made over 75,000, then you did not qualify for the stimulus check. This last stimulus check. Now, when you go to file your taxes for 2020 for the recovery rebate, they go off of your 2020's income, not your 2019's income. Okay? which means you could still possibly get some money from, oh, sorry, let me move my hands. You will be actually be able to get some money or get some money back from when you did not get your check the first time. So the $600 that some of you all have not received that you should have received, you will still be able to recover that, but you have to file your taxes in order to get that. If you don't file your 2020 taxes, you will not get a portion of the stimulus check that you were supposed to get for the second round or any of it, okay? Hear me, please hear me. If you do not file your 2020 taxes, you will not get the stimulus check. If you did not get this last round, this second part, you can file it on your 2020 taxes and that's how you can recover from it. If you do not, if you did not do that, if you don't do that, then you won't get it. Um, I've gotten questions. Oh, so what if the if they have an incorrect bank account? Um, so they went off 2019's taxes. If your bank information wasn't correct, then they will mail you a check. Now the difference is the IRS is not going to reissue checks, is what I just read. Um, they are encouraging you to file your 2020 taxes. And then that's how you will get your money. I know that it is BS, but that is what they are telling us. to. That's what we have been told. Um, it is also on the website. I'll put the link. I won't put the link for the website on here, but I, you can go to the IRS website and you can read it for yourself what they're doing. But in order for you to recover money that you did not get, that you should have received, it's on there. 
um, if you got, if you did not receive the money for your children, okay? Now, um, if you did not receive the money for your children, then you need to look and see if you received any type of notices from the IRS where they are asking you any questions about the kids that's on your 2019 taxes. So look and see if it says if they wanted you to prove something with your kids, if your refund is being held for some reason, um, if they took your kids off. The IRS will take your kids off of your tax return if they send you a letter and you did not send them anything back and you were like you didn't open it or you didn't get with whoever did your taxes or you didn't ask any questions. Um, and they have sent you a letter basically to verify these are your kids is what they have been doing because there have been a lot of fraud. So they are asking you right now to verify your kids, some people, not everybody. And if that was you and you only got $600 and you should have maybe got $2,400 because of the kids that's on there, you need to go back and look at your paperwork, um, and see if they sent you something. If the IRS sent you a letter, please do not ignore the letter. Take the letter to somebody um, that does taxes. If they did not do your taxes for them to help you, you will have to pay for that. But you at least know what is going on when it comes to the stimulus check and why you didn't get it. And if you did not, if you have children and you did not get the letter, um, you didn't get any letters from the IRS about your taxes, and then you just didn't get the money for the kids, you will then get a portion of that money back when you file because of the credit. Let me not say you get the money back. You will get a you will be qualified for the recovery rebate credit. Um, so with the rebate credit, with the rebates credit, we then put in the amount that you got versus the amount you should have received. They go off the 2020 taxes. That's where you then will see the money coming back if you are, if you are not, or whatever, we'll get that amount of money. How much of the money you will get back, we do not know. I know people have hit me about $3,000 and $3,000 coming back. I can't verify that everybody will get $3,000, that you might get $3,000, that you might get $2,500, that you might get two. I can't tell you that you'll get three because everybody's taxes are different. Um, everybody's income is different. The amount of kids you claim is different. So that part, I can't give you. I can't give you any solid numbers. Until you come in and you give me your paperwork, then I can tell you. Or if you send me your paycheck stub and I can do a free estimate for you, then I also may be able to tell you. But outside of seeing your paperwork and knowing what you have, I can't give you an actual number. But just know that if you did not get your money for the tap for the stimulus, you still will you still can recover it. You just have to file 2020 tax to recover it. Now, if you did, if you made less money in 2020 than you made in 2019, um, and you have children, that's actually better for you because if you made less money, you maybe didn't qualify for 2019, which means you may qualify for 2020 because the income is different and everything is based off income. Okay, so just kind of know that. Somebody asked me a question. Will you be able to do? Yeah, you can do it, Chad. You can do it when you do your taxes. Um, for that. Okay, now let's go to this paycheck filing. Please, please, guys. It is illegal to file with your last paycheck stub. I know that you see a lot of people. Sorry, my hands. I just talk with my hands a lot. Sorry. So you know that when you file with your, you cannot file with your last paycheck stub. Cannot. It is illegal. Your tax person will get shut down if they get caught. Just because you have not got caught yet does not mean that you won't get caught. Okay? So your tax person will get caught. And as the taxpayer, which is you, you will either not get your money or your money will be held up for a long time. Because depending on how much money you've made, your last paycheck stub and your W-2s do not match. I'm not sure if people really realize that, if you even paid attention or if you even look at them. They do not match. If you make under maybe $10,000, $5,000, then they will match, obviously, because you that's just what it was. But anything over that, your last paycheck stub and the stuff doesn't match. And then at the end of the year, credits change, taxes and stuff go back to the same. A lot of things change. So because tax laws change, and all of that, the paycheck stubs don't match. So that's, it's been illegal for you to file with your paycheck stub. Just because people do it does not mean that's what you're supposed to do. So please hear me. 
You can get an estimate. You can get a free estimate with your last paycheck stub, but you cannot file. Now, I can tell you how much you'll get back or estimate of how much you'll get back. I can also tell you how much your advance might be if you decided to do in advance, but I can't file it with that. Nobody can. If they do it, just know that you are taking the risk of not getting your refund and whoever is filing is taking the risk of getting shut down. And it's not worth it. It's really just not worth it. If it it's not worth it. You file being able to do it a couple days before somebody else and then you not getting your money at all or them, them making you file <clears throat> by paper with your W-2 and then you can't file electronically anymore because it looks like fraud. And if it looks like fraud to them that your W-2 is fraud, you will never be able to file electronically anymore, which means everything you do from here on out would have to be by paper. And it takes longer, as we know, to do anything by paper with the IRS. And um, you know that they will then go through all of your paperwork. They're going to go line by line to make sure everything is, is what you say it is. And you have to send in all documentation. And if you don't have those things, then it's not, it's not worth it, guys. It's really just not worth it. Like, it's not worth it. Um, I'm not sure who your tax people are, but if it's not me, it should be. Okay? But we will do what we're supposed to do. I can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak for Calvert's Tax Service as you can see. Now, um, when it comes to advances, for those I have gotten phone calls already and emails about advances, is it okay for me to share this? Yeah, you can share. Please go ahead so everyone can come to see us this year. Um, is it okay? Sorry, tax advances. So with tax advances, you I'm not sure who you all go to for advances, um, but we are giving away advances. Up to $6,000 is um, in advance off of your taxes. You cannot do the advance without your W-2. I know that um, that's not what you wanted to hear because you obviously need the advance prior to, but you can't do the advance without your W-2. Um, I know some companies were doing advances, I think maybe back in February. I mean, not February. Maybe like November, December or something like that. They may have been. They may not have been. Um, and they said you have to come back to them. That's not necessarily true. Um, if they gave you an advance off your, I think off your paychecks. Um, but it definitely, uh, we definitely are doing advances. So advances up to $6,000 is what we are basically giving away. There's no fee for you when it comes to, if you want it, if you want it earlier or not. Um, I don't think, Let, don't quote me on that. I will get back to you and let you know if there's a fee or not. But I don't think that there's a fee hmm, when it comes to that. But I will let you know. Um, I'll come back and let you know about that. So, but, so if you want to advance, then we are able to do advances, okay? Do you do international taxes? Of course. Listen, I do taxes from everywhere, okay? I can do it all. So just call me and, and ask some questions and I'll let you know. Okay, so thanks, Kim. I can do them. So just give me a call, 713-239-2286. Um, if you have any questions for me. Again, the number is 713-239-2286. Okay, so let me see. The recovery rebate. Um, I spoke about it a little bit before, but let me kind of reiterate it. When you go to file your taxes, the recovery rebate is what you need to make sure that your tax person does not miss. Um, because with the recovery rebate, you will then get your, um, you will get the credit. It's a credit. And we know how credits and deductions work. So with the credit, you'll get, if you did not receive your stimulus and you were supposed to receive it, you then will be able to um, recover it, basically, when you go to file your taxes. Um, and it, it will go off your 2020 income. So if you did not get it, you may be able then to get it. Um it also, sorry guys, smacking my lips is a bad habit. Um, you also will be able to, so just make sure they know and just make sure you have all your paperwork together. If you have unemployment, okay, if you were, if you got unemployment because of COVID, if you got unemployment because of you were let go, you got, you, whatever situation may be, unemployment you still have to file because it still is income, okay? The unemployment 
is income. It will, I mean, you earned it basically from when you did work and now you're um, getting it back. So you do need to file your unemployment. You also need to make sure you file your health insurance. If you have a 1095A for health insurance, you need to make sure you also have that. Those two things, unemployment and the health insurance will hold your taxes up. And it does take a long time for you to then receive your taxes after they finally get the form. So the form can be mailed in or faxed if you did not, um, if you do not have it, like if they didn't get it the first time. But it will take a longer time for you to get your money. So if you are waiting for your money, then that is not something that you should probably need to make sure that you have all your papers together. Okay, so when it comes to that, um, and then... 401k advances. Okay. So for those, so you, so as we know, as a part of the CARES Act, you could take up to $100,000 out of your 401k. If you have it in there, if you don't have it in there, um, you could take it with no penalty. They then gave you three options on how you should um, claim it, I want to say. Um, there's no penalty you had to figure out what you still have to pay taxes on the money that you take because that money is still basically earned um, income. So you do still file it when you file your taxes. You just don't get the additional penalty that you would have gotten because you've taken it early. Um, but you do have to pay a portion, some, or none back. It depends on what you choose. So when you took it, they should have given you a couple options on what you would like to do and then when you come to your tax person we tell you the options or we give you not advice if they're not a cpa they can't give you advice we can give recommendations um on what you should do should or should not do with you know how you want to do it and then that's kind of how you go from there so that is an option that still that was an option so it just kind of depends on what you um would like to do The bank. What would the next step be to file twenty twenty taxes? Okay, so if the IRS sent the money, so this has happened also. Now the IRS sent the money via direct deposit. Now the bank said they never accounted for the funds. His next step would be so when he calls the bank. Now it ha it should have had. It should have said stimulus or IRS, something on there. If the bank said they never accounted, they can't account for it, you need to see, call, when you call the IRS back, you need to look and see if they have a trace number. Um, with the trace number, they can trace it to see if it actually went to a bank, what bank, if it went to a card, where it actually went. And you can actually get that trace number from the IRS and you can take that trace number back to the bank in the bank and you can say, hey, this is the trace number from the IRS for the account. This is what I was told. This is what it is. We're trying to figure out where the money is. But he also, because if you, well, you also can go online. If you go online to the IRS website, you can view your account transcript, not your tax transcript. View your account transcript and it will show you when your um, stimulus checks were sent. So it gives you the dates of when the first one was sent and when the second one was sent, if you got both of them or neither, if you got both of them or one of them and not the other. But it will tell you that if you go to the IRS website and go and go to where it says view or create account, you have to view or create an account. And once you do that, you can view your account transcript. And once you view that, you can see if it got sent. But um, Yanni, you need to call call the IRS back, get a trace number, and then call the bank um, because then they can trace it. And then if the bank still doesn't have it, you give them the trace number, and the IRS sent it, the bank will then have to replace it. Um, and that's really what that is. She says, so if I didn't file last year, will I get a stimulus? No. So, Callie, you have to file 29 in order for you to get the stimulus to 600 that just came out. You have to file 2020. Uh, 2019 taxes now because they don't know um, if you qualified for it because you didn't file them so what I would tell you to do is to go ahead and file your 2019 taxes and file 2020 taxes because if you were supposed to get it then you can claim on 2020 that you did not get it but 
they don't know if you're supposed to get it or not because you never filed it, if that kind of makes sense. So I would tell you to go ahead and file it, and then that would then help. Okay, Instagram. Okay, so if they, never, if they haven't sent the second one yet. So what I read on the IRS website um, is that if you go on, if you happen to check online on the IRS's website and it says that the status is not available, then as of right now, it means that you won't get your refund. I mean, that you won't get your stimulus. Um, what they're telling you to do is to file your 2020 taxes. And when you file the 2020 taxes, there's a place on there for us to let them know if you received or did not receive your tax, your stimulus, the second or first stimulus, and how much of it you did or did not receive. If you did not receive it and you were supposed to receive it, then you will be able to recover and get that money back or get a portion of the money back when you file your taxes for 2020. But if you don't file for 2020, then you won't see it. Do you by chance know what is going on with the stimulus if you file with TurboTax? So no, I, I don't know what's going on with TurboTax. Um, I just know that if you don't, if you haven't received your refund, I mean your stimulus check right now, um, then it looks like you probably won't receive it. Um, if it, well, they're still coming. Let me not say that they're still going out this week. Um, paper checks have to go out. They have to be out by the fifteenth. The paper checks. Um, they are supposed to start sending paper checks out Monday. If they have not already started to send them out, the date was Monday when I supposed to send them out. So if you got direct deposit, your direct deposit didn't hit, then you probably have to then claim it on 2020 taxes and you won't receive it. Um, I'm not really sure. What, I'm not sure what's going on with TurboTax. I don't use TurboTax, so I'm not really sure what TurboTax is telling you. Um, so I don't know if you know. How I'm not sure how TurboTax works when it comes to how the stimulus go out, but I'm assuming that you either have a check, card, or direct deposit, and nothing going, nothing goes straight to TurboTax. So everything comes to you. So if you are not, if you filed the wrong information, like the bank information is wrong, then you are just gonna have to wait for a check. But they're not, the IRS is not reissuing checks. So because they're not going to reissue checks, you will have to claim it on the 2020 taxes. Um. You haven't received your tax from last year. How do you go about getting those um, to contact? So if you haven't received your tax from last year, you need to call the IRS. Um, you need to call the IRS and find out what the holdup was or what the holdup is. Because it might be something like they're trying to reach you for verification. So I've noticed a lot of people have gotten verification letters this year. Now... If you've gotten a verification letter, which means you have to prove basically who you are because they can't seem to file you or find you or it's just random. They randomly do verification checks. So when they do verification, you have to have the taxes from the year before and your current taxes to verify who you are. And if you don't have those, then they won't be, then they can't verify you. And if they can't verify you, then you will not, you won't get your money which means your next your money from the next year, which would be this year if you didn't get last year, will also be held up because they can't find who you are. Okay? Um, you haven't received anything of that. Okay, then you should just call um, the IRS to find out if there's a hold up. So if you call them and just let them know, like you should, initially you'll get an automated system. You have to listen all the, through all of the prompts to then get a person at the end, I would tell you to probably call first thing in the morning when they open, just because otherwise you'll be on hold for a long time. Um, sorry, y'all, y'all know I'm thirsty. The way this baby is set up, it just makes me eat and drink all the time, I feel like. But anyway, so um, you have to, so call them. Jessica, call them and find out um, or what's going on. Call early in the first thing in the morning, you will get somebody that is willing to answer your questions, somebody that is willing to look through the paperwork to find what's going on, and um, that will get you that will get you the information. If that doesn't help, then just call me, and then I'll see if maybe I um, can help out in a different way. Okay? So, guys, oh, for filing. So, I've talked about filing. You must file 2020 in order to get... Um, the recovery rebates, you must file 2020 taxes in order to get the stuff, the money, or 
to see what um to see if you qualify how much how little how less whatever for these stimulus now the stimulus basically was free money that they gave out which definitely helps you if you are on a budget it was money that you were not expecting you didn't have to do anything for it except for file your taxes so there's nothing wrong with that okay so if you did not get it and you're supposed to get it then make sure on your paperwork make sure your paperwork says i mean make sure you file it for the next year um and then you'll be fine file it this year i'm sorry and then you should be fine if you receive stimulus last time direct deposit but has not gotten the second one as of yet what options can we take or do we have them so this right as of right now what i read yesterday that says if you did not if you haven't received it well Go on the IRS website and check. You can go on our IRS website and check your status. If the status says um, not available, then that means they're not going to send it to you. Even if you should have received it, they're just not going to send it to you and they want you to file your 2020 taxes in order to get in order to get it for some reason. I'm not sure because right now everything is colliding with tax season. So the stimulus coming. They, so the IRS shuts down at the beginning is what they did. Then we got the second stimulus and then tax season is coming. So they're trying to gear up for tax season in order to open so we can start releasing taxes on top of having to send out the money for stimulus. So as of right now, what I read today, and it's also on the website, that if you if it says status not available, if it doesn't say that, then it's still coming. Um, if it just hasn't come, it maybe just hasn't come yet, but, um, it's a waiting game right now with IRS and that's, so all we can really do is wait to see what they're, what they're going to do. But the way you got the first one is, oh, excuse me, the way you should get the second one. The second one is strictly off 2019 taxes. So if your direct deposit was different in 2019, um, then just know, or if it, or if you got a check instead of direct deposit for 2019, um, then you'll probably get a check this time. The first stimulus went off of your 2018 or your 2019 taxes. We don't know which one they went off of. They just went off of one of them. Um, so we don't know what direct deposit they used. We don't know if it was wrong. We don't know any of that because we don't know which one they used. We do know for the second one they used 2019, strictly 2019 taxes. So if you didn't file 2019 taxes, then obviously you didn't get it. And if you haven't received it yet, where you're either waiting or if you went on the IRS website and it says status not available, then that means you have to, when you file your taxes, you have to let your tax person know that you did not receive the second stimulus so they can put it in and then you'll be able to do the recovery rebate um, credit for that. Okay. So hopefully that has answered most of your questions or all of the questions when it comes to the stimulus checks. In the paycheck stub filing, please do not do it, guys. It's just not worth it. Um, and I think tax advances, if you need to advance off your money, then you can um, get up to $6,000. I'm not sure who you go to. I know we are giving up to $6,000. Um, so if you need that, then just let us know. But you have to file with us, obviously, in order to get the advance. So if you are not a client of mine, come on over to this side. We are very friendly. We're very nice. <laughs> and we get the job done. Okay? We've been in this game for, I think, how, well, how many years? About 11 years now. We've been I've been doing this now for about 11 years. So, I definitely know what I'm doing. So, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hopefully, this answers the questions about stimulus. I've been getting a lot of emails about stimulus and a lot of emails about paycheck stub filing. And the only thing I can do with your paycheck stub is give you an estimate. Now, if you want a free estimate, go ahead and send it to me. Email it or fax it to me or bring it in if you are in the area. Um, and we can give you a free estimate. But I cannot file with it. Okay? So, just kind of letting you know. So, Wednesdays at 12 o'clock. Guys, I'm going to stick this 12 o'clock. I was a little late today. Um, but that wasn't. I was just a little late today. But 12 o'clock Central Time. Um, I will be back giving updates, live updates, if answering any questions that you guys may have. So just let me know um, if you have any questions, if somebody has an answer something, if you're a client of mine. If you are not a client of mine, on live, I'll answer the questions. So 
Um, and I have, you know, whatever I'm going to talk about for that day. So just let me know if you have any questions. Um, I have to get back to work. But if you guys want to call me, you can call me at 713-239-2286. Again, the number is 713-239-2286. You can call me um, to ask me a question or to get your filing done. Um, you can also email me at Aaliyah at Calvert's Tax Service dot com. I'll put both of them in um, the messages or in the thing so you guys can see them. Um, so just let me know. I'll be back live with you guys tomorrow. But that's because it doesn't have anything to do with taxes. Um, it has something to do with a different podcast that will be dropping every Tuesday. But I'm going to drop um, the initial um, thing tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know about that. But if you have any questions about taxes or about the stimulus check or about the tax advances or about your 401ks, um, and those, and that money that you guys took for that, just let me know. Okay. Talk to you later.